Okay, we are doing some additional real world scenarios working with proportional relationships. Please make sure you put your last name and your first name and your class period. We are going to look at these graphs and consider some things. So let's read. The graph shows the cost of apples at a fruit vendor. What is the constant of proportionality? Which in this case means cost per apple. Let's see here. I don't need that, but I need something to write with. So I'm going to find a nice point and I'm going to label it. So my X coordinate is one, my Y coordinate is 0.5 or one half. So I need to do Y divided by X, Y is 0.5 divided by X, which is one. So 0.5 divided by one is just 0.5. So since it only wants the cost per, or the proportion, the constant of proportionality, it's not stating anything like putting K equals or um, how much per apple. I'm just gonna put 0.5 because it wants what the constant of proportionality is, not the unit rate, which would mean 50 cents per apple, but the constant, which is 0.5. So I'm going to double check that and make sure that that is um, what the answer will be. And yes, that is answered as um, the Google form will want it to be answered. So we're going to continue. Using the graph and answer above, how much would nine apples cost? So it doesn't go up to nine, but I can figure it out because I can set up my proportion. So it's apples to cost, correct? So I'm going to put my apples, I know that this constant goes with one apple because it tells me up here, right here in this point. So I'm going to put one apple is 50 cents how much is nine apples? So since apples are on the top, I need to put nine on the top of this one and I do not know how much it costs. So I'm going to cross multiply one times X, that's one X equals nine times 0.5. Um, I know that several of you don't like to use a computer, but if a computer is there, we are going to use it. So nine, times 0.5, I think it's 4.5. Yep, so $4.50. So I will say X equals 4.5. Oh, it says tick, tick, yeah. So we're going to put our answer up here as 4.5. I'm gonna check and see if they want units. They are going to want units, so make sure, let me erase this so you can see it. Make sure that you put dollar sign, $4.50. <clears throat> I probably need to fix this because I've done some copying and pasting. If N up represents the number of tickets purchased, what can we multiply it to be to find final cost? This will be if N re represents the number of apples, A-P-P-L-E-S, what can we multiply to find the full the total cost and that's the same as this you're multiplying it by the constant because it's apples times the 50 cents per apple that's how that works so i'm going to put 0.5 down here um, and that would be what we multiply by if n represents the number of apples purchased what can we multiply oh, okay it looks like i have that twice so i'm gonna <laughs> You lovely people, I do not know. I need to do a little bit better. So you're going to type 0.5 here too. Okay, I think I've fixed it for you and for me. What would the equation be to find the total price when purchasing in apples? Okay, so this is where we have to think about that. Total price equals apples times cost. And we determined that the cost, see the blue is 50 cents per apple. So I'm gonna start highlighting. Total price, T. So total price, oh, that is bad. 
total price equals this times the number of apples that I purchased. Now I've told you I'm not, I do not like it when they switch up my variables on me, so I had to think about what they were asking me. Total price makes sense. My total price has to equal 50 cents per each apple. So that does not match this one. The plus makes no sense. So the answer is this one right here. All right, so again, we're using good test taking strategies. We're doing all the thinking that we can. Describe the equation above in words. Use the term constant proportionality in your description. The total cost will be the constant, constant of proportionality multiplied by the number of apples bought. The total cost will be the constant of proportionality multiplied by the number of apples bought. And that makes sense. Our total cost, that T, equals 0.550 cents per apple. So times the apples. I'm going to hit submit. View my score, 7 out of 7. So... As long as you've watched this video all the way through, you guys should be good to go.